few things. That's my phone. <laughs> I have a couple of things to talk about before I start filming what potentially will be the longest video of my life. I am dying, that's the first point. I've been dying for about two weeks now, that's why I sound all nasally and like this and I keep coughing. One reason I have this thing of water here is because I keep coughing. Also, I need to drink about two litres of water in the next hour because I've got some scans at hospital. No, 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 not pregnancy scans. But I do need to have a full bladder and feel like I'm about to pee myself, so what else do I need to talk about? Second, third point, I'm not really sure which point it is. The lighting is horrible today, I look like a ghost, but I'm working on it. I'm saving up for some proper studio lights, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that might be coming soon. Because <laughs> I think I need something a bit more flattering for this face. <laughs> third point. The last time I filmed with this lipstick on, I had lipstick all over my teeth, so that's probably something that's going to happen, but we're just going to have to deal with it. I went to Lush, and I spent too much money that I don't have. <laughs> this video, slash blog, 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 blog post, blog post, ending up somewhere on my social media was kind of inevitable, because one, I'm a trashy white girl, and I bloody love Lush. Who, every single bloody YouTuber slash blogger, not that I can really be classed as one because I don't put up videos and blog posts enough, goes on a monthly shopping spree to Lush and spends too much money. But this isn't just any old shopping spree in Lush. No, my friends. It was a Christmas shopping spree. Maybe we weren't all expecting something quite so festive from me this early on in the year, but... What can you do, eh? I was lucky enough to attend the Lush Christmas launch kind of event thing at the store in Bathingstoke in Festival Place Shopping Centre and all the girls there were literally so lovely and I bought too many things and it was just a really great time. So yeah, they basically took us bloggers round, went through all the products and like showed us their like, man, what's the word I'm looking for here? They're like best sellers that like come into Lush every year and then they showed us the new products and we got <laughs> <gather> little demos. <laughs> we had little demos and they put some bath bombs and some water and massaged our hands with pretty things. They sprinkled fairy dust on us and uh, we rubbed it into our skin and we looked like glittery vampires and it, everything was just great. I was in heaven. <laughs> if you kind of just want me to sit and smell things, and try and describe scents to you, which is not my forte. This probably isn't the video for you because I like going into details about how the ingredients are really great for you and <laughs> I'm just really excited. I think what I'm gonna do is get all the typical snow fairy Christmassy shiz out the way first because I know that's like a really stereotypical thing to buy and not everyone is as obsessed with snow fairies as I am. So first up we have the Magic Wand Bubble Bar and this gem is one of my staple Christmas Lush purchases every single year along with every other snow fairy bubble gummy-esque um, product that Lush stock really. Their bubbles their bubble bars are reusable and also have bells on, which is just very pleasing to my ears. I personally get a solid five to six uses out of this. Did that make sense? I mean, if you want to go bubble crazy and you want to be drowning in bubbles, then you're probably only get going to get like two to three uses out of this. But I'm like, I like a good amount of bubbleness. So I get about five to six pieces out of this, so it's definitely worth the money. I think these are like five pounds something, so. The only downside to Lush Bubble Bars is they have a really shitty habit of falling off the stick, like the second time you use them, and they drown under your bubbles, and it can be a bit of a bitch when you have to go fishing around the bottom of your bath to find the rest of it. But there are worse things in life. I absolutely loved, I think it was called Drummer's Drumming, the bubble bar last year, and when you went like this, it made like bells hit each side. But sadly, that hasn't made a return this year, and in its place, they have Santasaurus, 
which is a cute, adorable little dinosaur on a stick modelling a Santa hat because hey, stick a Santa hat on something and it makes it Christmassy. <laughs> Basically, you swirl these around your bath or run them straight like under the tap, um, but both give you equally as glorious results due to, I think it's, they mix like in the lush kitchen, I think that's what it's called, they mix cream of tartar with sodium bicarbonate or bicarbonate bicarbonate of soda, I don't know, but that's basically what makes your bath froth up and gives you bubbles. I love it. Next up is the Candy Mountain Beauvoir, another stereotypical Lush Christmas product that we all know and love. Santa does tend to slip one of these in my stocking every year, but one is just never enough and I always feel the need to have more of these and so I did take it upon myself to buy one before Christmas Day to enjoy as soon as possible. As I said, I'm going to talk about all the Snow Fairy scented stuff first because we all know what it smells like. Um, it's basically just bubble gummy and super, super sweet and incredible. I also find this one a lot more moisturising, like it sounds really bit, a bit, <laughs> it sounds really weird but when I sit in the water, like when my legs go in the bath, I can actually feel how like silky smooth the water is. I don't know if that's possible, but it happens. Basically, Lush put cornflour in Candy Mountain, and cornflour helps combat dry skin in the cooler months, which would probably explain why I feel the need to make everyone I know stroke my super smooth skin and feel how silky it is after I get out of the bath. <laughs> they also put vanilla bean pods, I think that's what they're called, into this, as well as the cornflour, which obviously helps the gorgeous smell but also, also, basically it's going to moisturise your skin and then the vanilla bean pods are going to prevent the moisture from disappearing and you're going to have beautiful skin for days. Okay, this one gets me super excited and my heart actually stopped when the girls at Lush picked this up and introduced us to this absolute beauty. This is brand new this year and they've basically turned the candy flossy snow fairy goodness into a body conditioner. I don't really know what else to say. They didn't even have to open the pot for me to be sold. I was sold as soon as they picked it up. Literally all you have to do is lather yourself in this in the shower, rinse it off like normal. I don't know whether like it would be best to let it sit on your skin for a while and soak in but I'm pretty sure that you literally can rinse it off as soon as like you would a normal shower gel. Dry yourself like you would do normally when you get out of the shower and you can completely bypass the moisturising step after your shower. Lush have packed plenty of beneficial butters into this and the combination is glorious. The mango and cocoa butter are of course going to soften and moisturise your skin, you don't need a professional to tell you that, but the cocoa butter is also self-preserving so this pot is going to last you like 10 times longer than any of like Lush's other fresh products like their face masks and stuff. They've also included cherry infusion. So if like I know a lot of people aren't a fan of Snow Fairy because it's so sweet, like a lot of people find it quite sickly um, and the cherry infusion makes this one a lot more subtle. So if you're not the biggest fan of the really strong Snow Fairy scent, this might be a winner for you. Okay, that's it for the Snow Fairy stuff, I swear to you. Right, next up we have the Golden Wonder Bath Bomb. This is so many people's favourite Christmas bath bomb, yet I have never tried it. I know, I know, clearly not a dedicated Lush fan and clearly not committed enough to their festive collection. <laughs> I've heard so many great things about this um, and I know it's one of their more fun bath bombs and it produces bright colours and of course many a bubble. It has two key oils um, which are like bursting with goodness basically. The first thing you can really smell, like the first thing you pick up on when you take a whiff of this is orange, um, that's because they use sweet orange oil, which, fun fact, aromatherapists use to boost spirit and also immune systems, so they've also included lime oil, which has a whole host of properties, so 
I can't stop smelling it. I actually wrote down the benefits of lime oil because there were so many benefits, like I would never remember them. Right, listen. Listen up, bitch. <laughs> the acidity of limes cause hair cuticles to lie flat, which basically is going to add a really impressive shine to your hair if you wash your hair in the bath, which I quite often do. It's also used to scrub away at dead skin cells, so basically it's going to give your body a really deep cleanse. Lime oil tones and also boosts circulation, which will stimul stimulate, stimulate your blood flow. And that's not all. <laughs> Wait. It also contains a large amount of vitamin C and it also has antibiotic and antioxidant properties which is basically going to help your skin from like natural pollutants and also the sun. So really, you cannot lose with that bath bomb. <laughs> so this is basically made of a citrusy duo which is really evident when you smell it and it makes for a gorgeous fragrance and it's presented in the shape of a glittery crystal present so what more could you want okay this one is called never mind the ballistics this is another bath bomb of course right i can't remember what it is but there is like a really is it banana i want to say banana i can't remember i think this has got fresh banana in it i'm gonna need to read up on the ingredients of this one but they basically had to cover this in like an extra protective layer I'm really annoyed that I can't remember what she told me, but oh well. Yeah, this was the banana one. This smells like really hard to describe, like I don't know how to describe it. It's like sweet, but not too sweet. Um, that was a really great description. It was really helpful there. It's also quite fruity and you can really smell like peachy, banana-y goodness. This has also got cocoa butter in it, so that's that little self-preserving number we were talking about earlier. Yeah, the cocoa bo butter, the cool cool butter, helps bath bombs like roll around in the water and you can watch it dance around your bath and take a classic lush bath bomb Instagram. This has got fresh banana in it and fresh banana is packed with vitamins, let me get this right, A, B, C and E, not D, because that's what you get from the sun. I know which one I want to talk about next because this one gets me really excited. This is Northern Lights and this is my favourite ever, 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 ever. I literally could not count on one hand how many of these I bought last year. It's my favourite in every way possible and I think last year it was actually shaped differently. Like last year it was just one long sausage. Oh. It was like in a straight stick form last year, but this one is smaller, but girthier. <laughs> oh God, the fumes are making me high. It looks amazing, it smells amazing, but also like the overall feel of bathing in water with this in is just generally relaxing. Of course, I can't go without mentioning the display that this puts on. Like in that sense, it blows all other lush lash bath bombs out the park. Why can I not talk? The display that this puts on blows all the other lush... Oh my god, what is wrong with me? <laughs> this bath bomb and like the colours and the way it makes your bath look is literally like on another level, like it's insane. This smell is described as jasmine. Obviously, I'm not saying it's not jasmine scented, but like what I'm trying to say is like it's not overpowering. Like you can take my word for it because I'm not a fan of like overpowering floral smells but this one's really subtle and there's just something i really like about it northern lights bath bomb has jasmine absolute absolute i don't know how to say it but i know they make vodka out of absolute maybe it's a brand of vodka <laughs> bloody student over it <laughs> they use jasmine absolute in aromatherapy a bit like the other ingredient i spoke about earlier I know they use it to treat sensitive skin, muscular complaints, and they also use it to treat depression, and they also use it to treat stress. And I need a whole lot of treatment for that. <laughs> that would definitely explain why I feel so calm and collected after bathing in this. Bathing? Bathing? I don't know what word to use. Um, but yeah, 
I lay in a bath with this in for hours, which is probably dirty and unhygienic, but I'm just can it help myself? This has another oil in it, and I know what it's called, but I don't want to try and pronounce it. Um, Ylang Ylang oil. <laughs> Basically, that oil is also treated, treated, used to treat um, stress and stuff like that. So that combined with the Jasmine Absolute, you're gonna feel like you're floating on clouds. Right. This one is called Stardust. Who doesn't want to drop? a plain white bath bomb into their water, leave the room and come back to find green water, or blue, I think it's blue, blue water and gold stars floating around their bath. Who, who wouldn't want that? Tell me now. I think I'm gonna need to read up on the ingredients of this one because it's a really hard scent to determine. Like, oh, okay. Okay, so this has got rosewood oil in it, which I guess is what's really bringing like the spicy woody scent across. Yeah, at first whiff, that's what you can whiff. I'm never doing a lash video again. I literally don't know what I'm talking about. I'm out, see you later. Okay, so rosewood oil is antiseptic and uplifting. That's what Lash are describing to me. It says it's got bergamot oil in. I guess that's where the fresh, like, sweet, fruity smell is coming from. This basically just smells like every smell that you can possibly smell in your life. <laughs> it's woody, spicy, fresh, fruity, fruity, floral. Anyway, apparently it's said to clear the mind and body, so it's probably really annoying me sitting sniffing bath bombs while I'm trying to talk about it. I'm probably, like, saying a word and it be like, this smells really bloody great. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited about this one. Look how cute it is. <laughs> I was kindly gifted this one and the next one I'm going to talk about by the girls at Lush and I'm really glad because they were on my wish list anyway so I was going to go out and buy them eventually. Aside from how friggin adorable this is, Peeping Santa smells gorgeous. Like, I'm going to try and refrain from keep sniffing it but it's like what I call a classic bath smell. It's a clean smell. <laughs> this one turns your water red and adds a handful of bubbles which is standard from a Lush bath bomb. Pretty sure I've got powder bath bomb in my eye. Ouch. The white centre is like incredibly smooth and I'd say it's like a closer consistency to their bath melts. There was a reason for that and I need to try and remember what it was. Oh yeah, it's made of sheer butter, that's why it's like really melty. I'd advise you to keep this in like a relatively cool place. I wouldn't say you need to keep it in the fridge but like even when I touch it, like I've got quite warm hands. Um, shea butter is really, really good for sensitive skin. Um, it's also one of like a, like the really intense moisturisers. Think an intense moisturiser would sit on your skin and be really sticky for hours, which is something I hate, like I said earlier. But shea butter actually absorbs really quickly into your skin. So I don't really know where I was going with that one. This has got geranium oil in, so I guess that's probably what's giving it the slightly like sweeter smell. Like it smells quite rosy. One thing I love about this is it's got, I need to try and learn how to pronounce this. It's like, oh, wait, olibanum oil, olibanum. It's basically frankincense. You can't really get more festive than frankincense. <laughs> The aids of this element are literally endless, like there's a list of benefits to having that oil in there, but it's basically where the citrusy, like more lemony scent comes from. It's traditionally used for meditation, I believe it was meditation. It slows your heart rate and, wait, that's not a good thing is it? Basically it encourages you to take deeper breaths, is what I'm trying to say. So it's really relaxing, which is perfect for spontaneous Perfect for spontaneous pamper evenings after stressful days of wrapping presents and losing the end of the sellotape. Also just worth mentioning, Peeping Santa's eyes are made out of dairy free chocolate, which is perfect for me in many ways because I'm allergic to cow's milk, so dairy free chocolate is just ideal. Also, sometimes I get a bit peckish in the bath. <laughs> I'm joking, I wouldn't really eat it. Or would I?
I literally just regret every decision I just made. <laughs> Second to last. <laughs> I will finish this video before my battery runs out. <laughs> Shooting stars. This is another classic, like lush Christmassy classic that I am yet to try. The smell's not too dissimilar to Northern Nights, but it's got like a hint of honey, like relatively sweet honey. There's not actually any like new ingredients in this one that I haven't like spoken about previously. I really need to rub my nose. You're in for a treat when you put this one in the bath because it literally explodes like it's a banger. If a blanket of golden glitter over the top of your bath doesn't get you excited then I just don't know what will anymore. Okay, this is the last thing I'm going to talk about and then I swear, swear down that I'm done. broken oh just me being an idiot my heart shattered into a million tiny little pieces when lush decided to continue my beloved most favorite sweetie pie shower jelly i can't actually tell you how much i love sweetie pie but it used to last me weeks and it was just potentially one of my favorite products ever from lush when they whacked this out at the event admittedly i wasn't very optimistic because i have been grieving ever since Sweetie Pie was so hastily taken away from me. But lo and behold, Snowman came through. <laughs> the scent is obviously completely different to Sweetie Pie, but it's the only one since that I've actually liked, so the purchase just had to be made. The Sicilian lemon oil really gives it like a sweeter smell, just in a different way. It's a really refreshing smell. <laughs> Lush use, I think it's carrot infusion. Wait, I've already said it, cherry infusion. Yeah, carrot infusion. It's basically really good for you. It's got loads of crucial vitamins in it. And it also, helps create the desired jelly consistency and also helps the jelly hold its shape so even after throwing it around the bath and having it sit in a pot snowmanny still holds its snowmanny shape snowman oh it's got hair on it <laughs> back you go my friend into your little pot god i never actually thought that was gonna end i've literally been filming for i think over an hour now jesus I'm really sorry about the length of this video. Well, I think it's going to be a long one. Cheeky. <laughs> I've been filming for bloody ages. I started the video, sat really nicely, and then I ended up like this. Lush blog posts and YouTube videos are always going to be a long one for me because I just feel like going into the ingredients and their benefits and all that kind of thing is just like a part of Lush. Like, there's a reason that all those ingredients are in there and they're just really great. I hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse of the Christmas collection. If you haven't already had a chance to pop into a store and see it for yourselves, I really need to go. I've got dairy-free chocolate from peeping Santa's eyes under my fingernails. I need to wash my hands and get life, so. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs>